Hello there and welcome to um, not Wilson Waffling Live because this is the long awaited discussion forum um, post that I said that I was going to do a while back and I never got round to doing it. So here it is. This is the results of the discussion forum. So if you remember um, on Wilson Waffling, um, the website, we have a discussion forum and um, every now and again, about once a month, I get together and I um, pu publicize a, a topic for you to engage with and to interact with. And then I can I like to go back and discuss it and come up with um, some of the answers and discuss some of the answers with you. So if you remember the um, the topic, the forum post that we had had been up for quite a while now, and just getting it up there, had been this one, which was homework, love or hate it. So it was homework, love or hate it. And um, basically what I'd said here is that um, we wanted, I wanted to get your own, your opinions about homework and whether or not we should set it and what our uh, whether or not it was useful whether or not it served any purpose at all and what I've done is that um, I've posted all the anonymous posts um, that were given and I just want to talk through them and see what we think so can I just remind you before we go any further that uh, on any of the discussion forums you can actually um, put your opinion across, do your response anonymously and um, by filling in the survey, you can see it here. Or if you do wish to, you can also um, register for the forms by clicking the register for forms button up here. And then that allows you to actually log in and post your replies. Okay, and by all means, if you are following a post, you can subscribe to it and then you'll get any updates as it goes along. So. This was homework, um, love or hate it. So let's have a look at some of the responses that we got. So first things first, the, this one was um, an anonymous, um, anonymous um, point, um, f um, opinion that was put in via the um, um, survey. And basically it was saying that um, they think that homework is good in moderation as with everything in school we need to ensure it is fresh entertaining engaging and it's based on and centered on the children's interest and I think this sort of like really sums up the essence of homework in the sense that it needs to be entertaining engagement and rather than based on children's interest maybe more based on children's learning that would be my opinion but almost like captivates their interest which would be um really important um, there's there's also um, an example here that says um, but I've seen Indian India given as a homework and one child made a model of the Taj Mahal with facts all around it while others made a tourist booklet in the country about to about the country and this is really interesting because I wrote um, a couple of blog posts um, can we have more homework and more importantly an alternative to homework and this was a similar sort of idea this idea that homework was not set as a, a worksheet to do but it was set as an open-ended discussion uh, an open-ended task and uh, just a word was given or a topic was given and then um, you were encouraged to children were encouraged to do produce whatever they want and i was in a, a school recently that i'd seen this um, working very effectively inside the school as well um it, it, uh, it's really interested here that it says um homework needs not to be oppressive and should encourage and nurture the children and their interests and i think also to encourage their learning and i think this is the key for me trying to encourage learning and I think this is really interesting when we look at students in higher education whether or not um, we at university we have what's known as SOL task which is um, supported open learning and the question would be whether or not those actually um, do they actually um, promote learning uh, and do they promote learning and do students engage with with that learning or or not 
you know so I think that's a, re a really interesting point so um, back to the discussion forums and the next point here says um, I always here it is I always remember being very excited in year two because that was when I got my first homework book to complete as I got older through school I never remember getting a lot of homework just lots of spellings to learn so this idea that spellings is what one of the four forms of homework and that you know um, you learn your spellings every week so there might be homework that is set such as spellings or times tables that is or reading which is regular just to sort of like keep um keep the practice up and the consolidation and whether or not that's homework or just routines it, it's an interesting discussion um non no strong opinions here it depends on how the teacher knows the best and, and whether or not it would be beneficial for children so very important this next one is I thought was really interesting and because it almost like starts to discuss the difference between homework when homework is appropriate according to age group and it says I think homework is appropriate for those in key stage two maybe even just upper key stage two as they need to be prepared for secondary school and they should be taking on more responsible responsibility for their own learning and I find this really interesting because I and it links very much to the first post as well, I think, when um, the person was talking about interests. And I think there becomes a, a connection between um, children's interests and their learning and whether or not these come together in some way. And if you're really interested in something, you almost like perpetuate or also like encourage your own learning and I, and I think it's a really interesting um, combination that with um, independent work or independent or homework we actually can tap into that interest like uh, and I almost like going back on myself now I figure tap into that interest then um, we might be actually encouraging learning which, which is a, a, an interesting point the this I, I, th I find this one really interesting in the sense that it saying that it might be um, age related and they go on to say I think key stage one should not be given homework I think they I do not believe that they developed enough to understand the concept of independent learning which goes back to what I was saying also parents key stage are more likely to help their child because they were unable to do them themselves and that's really interesting in the sense that you know is the homework really appropriate I think there's there's all always this danger isn't there that we we set we set homework or we set a task and parents look at the end results and think oh that's not good enough and sort of like you know put a bit of sticky in here and stick it and then it does it actually end up as the children's child's work okay this this next um this next um, post was really interesting because this actually um, had a reference and it actually routine tasks do not lead to advances in learning at primary school and there's actually a reference there to go and have a look at which I thought was really interesting. Um, homework must be centered on either preparing the children for learning to for learning to come or consolidate or practicing or reinforcing concepts. Now, so that's really interesting because it's saying Homework needs to either be preparing for a topic that's coming up or consolidating what's going on before. And I, I, I think I disagree with that. I, I think it's more to do with engaging with the interest and encouraging learning. And it could be completely different to what's going on in class or anything like that. It might be extending it or encouraging more, but I don't think it only has to be those two. So um, the other thing that I found was I really like this comment. I really like this comment. It says, perhaps I remember two homework tasks from the entire 13 years I was set it. One was a punishment, write an essay on a career we hope to have as an adult. The other was make a Viking lo long boat from card. My dad did it. And I think that's almost like sums up some homework, you know, and what I was saying about parents. So uh, the next one goes on to say about, it says, I think homework is a good idea if carried out in a more exciting way. Just having a worksheet or reading books, etc., may put children off. If it was carried out in a more engaging way, like lessons, children may be more motivated to do it. And, I, and I, think, I think this is almost like where technology comes in. And I was at a conference uh, 
uh, e-conference, a higher education e-conference, when we are talking about, the, and we had somebody in from secondary school saying how children had made their own um, trailers using um, iPads and videos and jingles and things like that. And th I think this is where technology can come in. And yes, I know you're going to say, but not all children have this, but all children have this. And I, I, I understand that, but I, I also see where um, technology could be coming in to sort of like support that more. Um, it is tricky because um, if children are struggling, their parents are unable, it may be lower their self-esteem and motivation of both children and parents. It seems to me that it's about finding the perfect balance which will be different for each child. And I agree with that. And I often wonder how many homeworks do we set that are actually um, differentiated like we were differentiating a lesson. Okay, and the final post here, the final post. I believe homework is a useful tool to reinforce what has been learnt in lessons, but not only to, um, uh, but only when the work follows on from the class topics. Homework such as spellings and timetables are both important in developing, should have more of a in-school focus, and any work given should um, give children the opportunity to be creative learners. And I really like this end part, this idea of creative learners and the, the opportunity to um, extend their learning. Now, I, I, I was re really, really, really impressed with the engagement on that. And I, I always think we, with these, what I should, um, these discussions, what I should do is, um, almost like some of my beliefs at the end as well. So you, you get an understanding of what I believe in as well. So I think to me, homework is probably the wrong term. And I I, I do, I have this feeling that um, homework is the wrong term because it's almost like work we're doing at home. And I would like to readdress it and rebrand it almost as independent learning or extended extended learning or have a go or something like that um the other thing that i really think is that i think homework shouldn't be compulsory and i think there's a lot of points in there that talk about the interest in the children for the children and i think if the children are interested in uh, homework that is t set then they will engage with it fully by themselves and if they're not then they won't and i think that's a really important point and so i would say probably rebrand it and also my second point would be to not make it compulsory i think the the third thing is that i like some of the blog posts or the replies in the discussion i would want it to be have a huge variation and almost like be open-ended and allow the children to actually engage with it fully in any way that they actually wanted i think Two other things that I, I would say is that, um, fourthly, I would want children or learners to see the point of it and actually um, understand why they were doing it or and whether or not that will be just to extend their own understanding or their own knowledge on a topic or because they want to, because of the enjoyment or because there is an end point and it's working towards something, a certificate, a badge or motivational um, fact or anything like that. And finally, <clears throat> finally, my, my fifth point would be that it's valued. And I think too often homework is done, it's put in a homework box and it's ticked and handed back. And I think if it's not valued, if it's not interacted with, then that, that almost like defeats the object. So those will be my five points for homework. So thank you to everybody who has um, participated in the waffle topic um, homework love or hate it there'll be another topic coming out soon but if you would like to go over to the discussion forums there are some other ones that are still up there response to low level disruptive um, behavior here assessing within a mathematics lesson what Ofsted doesn't want for Christmas and then homework love or hate it also remember that you can subscribe or register for the forums and if you go over to register for forums then you can enter your details there and press submit and I will get give you send you a password so you can start contributing as always I really um, enjoy reading and um, interacting with your comments and your discussions and by all means come along and um, 
join in with Wilson Waffling live on a Sunday or send me any questions to the ask me link on my webpage or put anything on Twitter and just hashtag it um, will waff live and you will appear in the stream on on the Twitter stream on Sunday show hope you've enjoyed this um, it wasn't live it was recorded so I'm going to um, just finish off with the titles and then I will of course see you all hopefully in Wilson Waffle Link live later on in the week have fun and I'll catch you later Wilson Waffling!